events is continuing now in Ask the Expert. It appears workers in Milwaukee are socking away a lot of money for retirement in comparison to the rest of the nation. Because we're all going to move somewhere warm when we retire. <laughs> Our certified financial planner, Tony Drake from WealthWisconsin.com, joining us this afternoon. So how does Milwaukee rank in this study done by Fidelity, right? Yeah, right at the top of the list. We're doing well. We're certainly doing well when it comes to that. So when it comes to the national average, what what have people socked away into their, their 401k? You know, a lot of people believe at 50 or higher have socked away less than $100,000. The problem is most people are just starting way too late when it comes to thinking about retirement. It's not and what a lot you're of money. Do. No, it's not, unfortunately. Okay, if you do it right, you can have millions potentially sitting in your 401k when you hit 65, 67. What do you need to be doing 30, 35 years before you retire to get there, though? Yeah, it's pretty daunting to think if you graduate from college, you probably have at least a 40-year 40, uh, 40, uh, you know, work life ahead of you. But pretty simple numbers. If you earn an average of $40,000, stick away 10%, earn 7%, the company matches a fair amount, you're going to have a million bucks at retirement. So it's not that hard. It's about starting early and being disciplined enough to do it. So if you have debt, should you? there's a theory of get rid of the debt because you're paying interest before you sock away for retirement. Should you try to do both at the same time? Or how does that all Yeah, balance? that's a big challenge when you look at that. A lot of that has to do with what interest rate you're paying on your debt. Mm -hmm. If it's a pretty low interest rate on some of the student loans or maybe the car loans that you can get nowadays, and you can make a lot more in the market in your 401k. Sometimes you're better off sticking in the 401k because you're losing by sticking the money in the debt otherwise. That big number that you see when you log into your 401k website can be tempting when you may become on a financial rough patch. Is there a smart way to take money out or do you just want to never touch that again? Yeah, some recent research shows us about 25% of people hit financial hardships and they're taking money out of their 401k. It's really one of the worst things you can do. Not only do you have to pay taxes on it, but you're paying a pretty hefty federal penalty. So it's really something we want to try to avoid at all costs. I know you said you want to start early, but yeah. you don't ever want to discourage people from starting at all. I mean, I think some people think, oh, I'm 50, why even attempt a 401k at this point? Yeah, it's never too late. I work with retirees every day and we see the vast gamut. Some of them have planned right and they're, they're doing well, even starting late in life. You can uh, catch up though. You absolutely can catch up. There's some great provisions where you can add more to 401ks and retirement accounts once you're above the age of 50. So that really helps. Can you invest a, a little bit, be a little bit more risky if you're older? Is that well, some of it depends. As we get closer to retirement, we probably want to take less risk so we don't lose as much. Problem is most people aren't looking at the numbers at all. If you need some help, we have a great calculator at our website, wealthwisconsin.com. million dollars sounds like a lot today. What's a million dollars going to be worth <laughs> I mean, in 20 years? That's the problem. You know, we hear about inflation. It's averaged under 3% in the last 10 years. Probably a good 100-year average is about 3%. doesn't sound like much, but if you ever play with the numbers, it has a huge impact over time. All right. Tony, thanks for joining us from WealthWisconsin.com. Got a question for our experts? Email them, ask the expert at tmj4.com. You may also leave a voicemail at that number on your screen.